Hi and welcome to chindu.org. In today's lesson, let us talk about a very important principle when it comes to data visualization and storytelling. Whenever you are preparing any kind of data visualization or chart that that has a significant amount of data, one of the key ideas to keep in mind is to provide all versions of the truth. Okay. Now you might be thinking, hey Chandu, how can there be multiple versions of truth? Well, uh, the reason is, although there are really no multiple versions of truth, there is only one version of truth. Uh, in When it comes to data analysis, you can take the same set of numbers and represent them in different ways, uh, thus leading to different conclusions or different perceptions of reality. So, uh, in in scenarios where you have more than enough data, more than just uh, 10, 12 numbers, let's say you are looking at 100 numbers or 500 different, different numbers, in such cases, it is important to present the story and, and give your audience a choice of various things so that they can analyze and understand the data uh, from all these different perspectives. Okay, it's it's just like uh, you know narrating a, a story in in a movie. You don't see the perspective from one camera. You see it from different cameras, so that you could actually get a more rich and varied sense of reality. So uh, in this uh, video, I would like to highlight one such chart that is really beautifully done. Uh, this is from Economist. They they have this uh, this feature on their website called as graphic detail where almost every day they take up some sort of data uh, and uh, weave a story around the data and tell us what's going on. So this one is uh, quite recent, I think about a couple of days back on 31st of March 2016. They have uh, presented a story on global house prices. Okay, and uh, the the narrative has more information. You could read this. I will provide a link to that. Uh, alternatively, you can go to Google and type global house prices economist uh, daily chart and you should be able to locate the link. Okay, so the, the, the highlight of this particular thing is a an interactive chart that gives you multiple versions of truth. Uh, in this video, I'm going to focus only on explanation of this chart and the techniques behind it. In the next video, uh, I'm going to provide a an Excel tutorial along with a workbook where we could recreate this kind of thing in Microsoft Excel. But let's now look at this and understand the important lessons for us uh, storytellers and data analysts. So when, whenever you have data like this global house prices, naturally you have a very rich data set. Uh, so in this case, they have chosen a handful of countries. Uh, you could see probably about 20 different countries, Australia, uh, Brazil, Britain, Canada, India, uh, United States, Singapore, and a um, few other places. So they took a few countries and they wanted to explain how the house price trend is going. But if you look at only house price trend, uh, you don't get the full picture. For example, uh, if you take a country like Brazil, which is going through uh, an economic, um, I don't know whether it's turmoil or whatever, but you know, a lot of changes in their economy. Uh, and uh, the house prices alone will not give you the full picture. Probably I have not added Brazil here, but uh, uh, when you add Brazil, you could see a, a drastic change in the picture with the Brazil kind of hijacking the chart and uh, the house prices going up by 300 mm percent -hmm. but is this the reality is this the true thing so what they have done is not only house price index is presented but they have given us other things like prices in real terms mm -hmm. maybe let's look at that even with respect to real terms for example here uh, the prices in house uh, house prices in Brazil are constantly going up, almost plateauing at the end of 2015. Whereas in real terms, you see a different picture. In 2014 onwards, the real price of house is going down. That's because probably the currency is getting devalued. Uh, whereas if you look at some other perspective, like uh, prices against average income, uh, you might see that the prices in Brazil tend to actually go down because probably either people are making more money or uh, you know something else um, and uh, so this is actually multiple versions of the truth same data set but presented 
uh, from different perspectives so you could understand now that's not the case alone what they have is since there is a lot of data they have pre-selected a couple of countries but you can actually select anything you want you can for example you can deselect Canada and you can let's say you want to focus in European countries so we'll deselect Australia um, United States and Singapore and let's focus on Netherlands Ireland and Greece and Germany and France so you could see what's happening in Europe I have not selected everything but uh, you know a handful of countries so that we could actually get an idea and uh, that's one I one one way to slice this data and look at uh, the numbers that matter to you um, the other thing that they have done is uh, they have offered not just real terms but also the indexed values so that everything starts from a fixed value of 100 uh, on Q1 of 2008 let's say and uh, you could see uh, indexed values I think uh, we don't need Brazil there so I'm going to unhighlight so you could see within European countries for example this one Germany has experienced a, a positive growth uh, in terms of indexed values whereas somebody like um, I don't know what kind of that Greece has experienced a negative turn and Ireland has experienced a negative turn this kind of correlates with the economic reality in market as well so you could uncover a lot of trends and interesting things for example this one green one is Britain which has gone through a lot of turmoil in 2008 and 9 and 10 and then they uh, the house prices kind of staged a recovery in, in in Britain now this is from Q1 of 2008 what if I wanted to visualize this from a different point of uh, time for example I don't care what happened in 2008 I want to know what happened in the previous five years you could do that you could use the timeline slicer at the bottom and you can kind of tell uh, let's see from 2010 onwards which kind of uh, presents a different picture because when you index it from a different starting point you get a different numbers so this is a chart that gives you multiple versions of truth and presents the story in a very compelling powerful manner uh, all the while giving you the control you as in the audience it could be your boss it could be your clients or colleagues whoever they are watching this chart they can interact with this they can play with the numbers they can change everything about this chart and get a different version of truth out of it okay the truth will not be contradicting each version of truth will not contradict another what it does is it gives you a different perspective so that you could understand the numbers better and you can make better conclusions about your work and, and situation so there you go this is a good practice I highly recommend that you use these kind of visualizations in your day-to-day -day work uh, in order to drive more action and more insight into your your area of work if you are curious to learn the techniques of course we are not talking about how to implement such things in Excel yet but here are a couple of clues we could use slicers for this kind of country selection we could use the timeline slicer feature introduced in Excel 2013 uh, to implement a starting and end point of times we could use um, you know again slicers or uh, dynamic charts or hyperlinks or a bit of VBA to uh, have this kind of behavior and uh, obviously indexed charts and everything is either a line chart or in the, in case of percentage change a bar chart so all of this is really good you can implement them in Excel I have not yet completed my implementation that's why I'm not sharing that but uh, in the next week uh, video we are going to talk about that and we are going to see a Excel file with this kind of thing but again uh, just for your information on chendu.org uh, in, in the charting section we do have several examples that kind of mimic this kind of behavior okay so go ahead and uh, and play with them in the in the description I'm going to leave a link or two about those things so thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoy our YouTube channel give us a thumbs up and also uh, if you visit chendu.org and subscribe to newsletter you will get a free uh, 95 tips excel work uh, excel book uh, a pdf uh, that you can use to improve your excel skills and and impress your colleagues so there you go thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this talk to you again next time Bye bye